Hi, I'm Kathleen Real, founder of BeFreeForMe.com, and today I'm going to show you how to make a gluten-free yellow cake with fluffy chocolate frosting. What you need to make the gluten-free yellow cake is one stick of butter, softened, one and a half cups of sugar, three eggs, two and one quarter cups of all-purpose gluten-free flour, one teaspoon of xanthan gum, three and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, one and a quarter cups of milk, one teaspoon of vanilla, vanilla extract, and a teaspoon of butter flavoring. The first thing you're gonna do is grease and flour two cake pans. Make sure that you use gluten-free flour, otherwise you're gonna have cross-contamination in your food which is gonna be full of gluten. The first thing you're gonna do is add the sugar and the eggs, and you're gonna beat until fluffy. You wanna make sure this is beat real well, and the reason why is as the beaten eggs and the sugar is what gives this cake its fluffiness. Next, we're gonna slowly add the eggs. We're gonna blend until combined. And the eggs, what gives the yellow cake, it's a yellow color. We're gonna mix it until well blended. On low speed, we're now gonna add in the dry ingredients. The gluten-free flour, and this is just an all-purpose gluten-free flour blend. We'll add a little bit of that later once it gets a little incorporated. The salt, the baking powder, what you want to do is add the xanthan gum, which is really important because xanthan gum is what gives gluten-free baking its firmness. It kind of holds it all together. Otherwise, you'd be stuck with one big pile of crumbs on the plate. So xanthan gum is really the gluten-free baker's secret. Next, we're going to add the wet ingredients, the vanilla, the butter flavoring, and the milk. And we're going to add the milk a little bit at a time. Now, first, it starts looking a little watery, but don't worry about it. It really lends itself well. It will start um, shaping up in a little bit. And you slowly want to add that milk in a little bit at a time so it doesn't splatter everywhere. That looks perfect to me, so we're done blending. Next, we're going to take the batter and evenly distribute it into our two prepared cake pans. Mmm, this smells really good. It smells nice and a lot of vanilla to it. There's something nice about a vanilla cake. We're going to evenly just Kind of mold it right around. You can see that xanthan gum at work here. <laughs> nice consistency there of the batter. Then what I like to do is gently tap it to get out any air bubbles and to make sure the batter is evenly distributed. Okay, now we've preheated our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to put the cake in the middle rack, both pans, for 25 to 30 minutes. And you know what's done when you touch the top of the cake and it kind of springs back. That's a good test. So we'll see you in 25 minutes. So the gluten-free yellow cake is done. We have it out of the oven and we actually have prepared one ahead of time that's frosted. And the fluffy chocolate uh, frosting is really, really good. Way better than anything you could buy at the store. And I made the fluffy chocolate frosting by taking a half a stick of butter, which was softened, three tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa, and I melted that, um, the melted butter and the cocoa together in a saucepan. Then I added in the a confectionery sugar, one box, a teaspoon of vanilla, and two tablespoons of strong coffee. And I also added in one quarter to a one half cup of milk or cream, just to get it to a nice spreadable consistency. Now the cake is ready to be served, so let's see how this looks. Like I said, I made a three-layer cake. Mmm, delicious. Look at that. And that is how to make gluten-free yellow cake. And you can eat it, too. I'm Kathleen Real, founder of BeFreeForMe.com, your source for savings, sampling, and sharing gluten and allergen-free.